Once again, thank you to Dr. Dish for their support of 24 Hours of Nothing But Net. Jefferson Mason has become a, a dear friend and a, obviously a great supporter. And he is one of the guys that was instrumental in helping us uh, secure the donation to be able to raise some money for Special Olympics. So Jefferson, thank you so much. Thanks for being with us. Yeah, I appreciate you having me. And again, we are ecstatic on our end. I think I speak on behalf of Dr. Dish, our entire company. We look forward to, uh, you know, this event every single year. Obviously, Debbie, you're a fantastic human being and what you're doing for, you know, the people out there is amazing. And for us to have, um, you know, any type of involvement uh, in this is just an absolute pleasure. So thank you for, for having us. Well, Jefferson, uh, I have to be honest, like uh, when I first came up with the idea now three years ago and when I approached you guys about it, you did not even hesitate. Like you didn't even question whether I could finish the task. You didn't say, are you crazy? And you didn't ask me how old I was. <laughs> well, you know what? Um, I, I can always notice and spot a, a true basketball player. And, you know, I, I, I know when you played the game and, you know, obviously with your resume, and you can shoot the basketball, that sticks with you. And, and you know, for us, uh, we were hoping and, and praying that you were able to do it. And, you know, year, at, year after year, you continue to show people that uh, if you work hard and, and you do things the right way, you get stuff done. And so, obviously, with you having that shooting machine as well, I think that that helps out a little bit. But uh, when they say it's automatic, it's automatic. <laughs> Jefferson, I could not do this for Special Olympics without you guys. And I'm not just saying that. I sincerely mean it. From the training to the, the workouts in my driveway to all the things that I'm doing to incorporate the machine so that I can be, uh, as my friend Mia Hamm would say, fit, fast, and be able to finish. You know, so uh, you have helped me uh, be able to do this. And the better that I can shoot it, the harder I train, the more that I'm prepared, the better the story is for Special Olympics, really. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's kind of what we stand for here at Dr. Dish Basketball is efficient, hard, purposeful training. Uh, and one of the reasons why I absolutely love, you know, being a part of this company is we stand for the right things. And everything that we do with our products, whether that's the content, the technology behind it, it's truly to help uh, not only the players, but the coaches and the parents and the trainers that are sometimes behind it as well. We really want to give everybody the opportunity to be the best version of themselves. And I can tell you as a former high school, uh, you know, college and professional player that I get out to our, our private facility and I use, you know, the shooting machines myself and I've become a better shooter, you know, after my career ended, you know, so I'm kind of those, one of those old timer guys now that's like, if I had this back in the day, I would have, you know, I would have played in the NBA, but um, no, truly the machines are helping people at, at um, you know, an alarming rate. It's just been absolutely amazing to see the progression from high schools to colleges to professional teams and all around the world. I know as I travel the country and I'm in a bunch of gyms like you are, um, when we're not in a pandemic and we're actually on site, everywhere I go, I see your machines um, just sprinkled all across gyms, all across the country. During the pandemic, uh, the business must have been pretty good. It seems like there were a lot of people interested in your product. Yeah, definitely. So we uh, were pretty blessed. We launched the Dr. Dish home shooting machine, um, you know, a little bit before the pandemic hit, and it was just starting to take off. And uh, when the pandemic fully hit, there were a lot of people that were looking for shooting machines at home. And we had it priced at the right range with, you know, a ton of cool technology and, and training content incorporated. And so when people weren't able to go to the gym or meet with their local trainer or so on and so forth, they wanted to figure out a way to do training at home. And so we created a ton of content, but just having that machine specifically designed for, for the home use was, was huge for us. And so we took off that way. And, and obviously, as facilities and schools started opening up, um, you know, they started reaching out and, and wanting to get, you know, some of our updated products that we have. And again, look to help their players get, uh, you know, better each and every day. So for us, uh, you know, I think for a lot of businesses, it was like, what, what's going to happen the next year when the pandemic hit in? Uh, we were extremely blessed, you know, good timing and, and preparation and all that good stuff. But, but we continue to roll and help players get better and trainers and parents. And, uh, you know, we've even evolved since last year as well. So it's it's been a beautiful sight to see, you know, firsthand myself here, obviously working. But I think it's been pretty cool for people outside in the basketball world to see as well. 
your whole team at Dr. Dish has been 100% supportive and anyone who makes a donation to our fundraiser is automatically qualified to win the machine that I'm using, the Dr. Dish Home Edition in my own driveway that comes with an app, it's high tech, there's so much training on there. I mean, I'm interested in one specific thing uh, that, I'm, that I'm working on, but if um, when I get to use the machine with other kids and other players, it's just amazing the amount of opportunity to teach and train and to, to get the, um, the coaching that comes with it about technique and about fundamentals. I mean, the, the app is unbelievable, Jefferson. Like, tell us about some of the technology and some of the new products and things that you have coming out. Yeah, so as far as the whole machine goes, like you mentioned, we partnered up with some of the best trainers and shooting coaches uh, and coaches of all levels, to be honest with you, to create a lot of unique content that's hosted on that app. So if you're a player uh, and you don't know what to do, if you're a parent, you don't know what to do, or if you're a trainer uh, or all the above that's looking for unique new ideas on you know, how to work with your player, you can look through the app and uh, work through a, a ton of different ball handling, con uh, conditioning, ag agility, shooting drills. Um, and we partnered up with a ton of different trainers that bring a different vibe and feel to everything that they do, whether that's form shooting, shooting on the move, uh, stationary shooting, ball handling on the move. I mean, there's such a variety that we're trying to encompass all different types of players. Obviously, everybody's game of balls at a different speed, at a different level. Everybody's body's built a little bit differently. And we just wanted to make sure within our system, our app and our technology that we catered to every single type of player out there. So again, like I said before, everybody had the opportunity, has the opportunity to maximize their potential. Now, recently, uh, you know, within the last few months here, we launched our Dr. Dish All-Star Plus and our Rebel Plus, which is an updated version of our two previous machines. So a few years back, our All-Star machine was our top of the line. Then we came out with our CT, which is head above hills, the best machine in the, in the world right now to date. And then we decided that we wanted to add in our touch screens to our All-Star and our Rebel models as well to provide an easier access to our training management system where all of those workouts, all of those drills, all that player development happens. And through uh, our new machines uh, in our CT and our whole model that we have, players can track their progress over time with heat maps, uh, showing you know, where they're shooting well, where they're struggling at within different drills, uh, working alongside trainers and really get that skill development over time. So those those new models are a play on that CT and that whole uh, structural base that we have and just an updated version of what we've been doing. And as a company, that's what we stand for. You know, we want to continue to move forward with the times, provide new technology. And with all of our new models that we have now, uh, they're all technology based. So when we have updates, we can send it through, uh, you know, the cloud and, and you're going to get those updates along with everybody else. So I'm one of those that believes as long as you can shoot it, there will always be a place for you on a team. So if you're a parent out there listening or you have a young player that is trying to decide about playing a, another sport or a different sport, if you actually invest in one of these machines, you are going to become a better shooter. And I know today parents, there's a lot of people specializing, but I'm, I'm not saying that we need to specialize. I'm saying what we need to do is look at purchasing these kind of products so that your kids can go out and entertain themselves by themselves in the driveway and actually watch and measure their progress. It's pretty phenomenal to think that if you can actually shoot it, you got a real chance to play at a high level. Oh, 110%. I mean, I stand on that with my word. I train kids of all age levels, kindergarten all the way through the highest professional level in the WNBA and also the NBA as well. And you said it spot on. If you can shoot the basketball, you can play. If you can shoot the basketball, it's going to make you quicker because players have to get on you. If you can shoot the basketball, you can spread the floor. And shooters these days are a dime a dozen. I mean, you don't find them as much as you used to back in the day. You know, a lot of kids want to right. dribble the ball and dunk and play up and down, which is fantastic. But shooting the ball is such a rare skill to have. And so when you're a coach, you're really looking for those type of players. And, and I tell kids all the time, you know what, you may not be the fastest or been blessed with, uh, you know, the most athletic body, but if you can shoot, it's going to help you out in a variety of different ways. And I think anybody that's played the basketball, that trains the game of basketball, that coaches at the game of basketball would agree that shooting is the premier skill. 
And with our machines, we just give players the opportunity to just continue to get better and work rep after rep after rep. Not only that, players are training smarter. I know when I was younger, I used to get out there and shoot my shots. And really, sometimes I'd only get maybe 200 to 300 shots up in an hour if I was lucky and I had a rebounder. I didn't know how well I shot. I could think in my head like, hey, I think I did really good from the wing or the corner or the top, but I really didn't know uh, myself. With our shooting machines, you're going to be able to get up to you know, 14, 1,500 shots an hour. You're going to be able to track uh, you know, your stats by location, your free throws and just see where you need that work. And that's super beneficial for players and also coaches when we're looking towards success. Uh, you can hold kids accountable in their training and what they're doing. Also while uh, challenging them with, with you know, really fun challenges and goals and different things that they can hit within their team or individually, which makes it a lot harder too for players. You know me, Jefferson, I'm all about seeing the game through an offensive lens. I mean, I'm just like you when I was younger, if I had one of these things uh, in college, we didn't, they, they weren't, a, it didn't exist when I played. But, you know, I love to tell the story about when I turned 50 and my husband asked me what I wanted for my birthday. And I said, I wanted a Dr. Dish shooting machine. And he's kind of like, you know what? I knew this is what I signed up for a hundred years ago when I met you. <laughs> but uh, you know what? The, it's true. I mean, I, I love it. Um, it's so valuable to me. And I hear, you know, a lot of my friends that are my age that aren't talking about getting a shooting machine for themselves. Right. And I do have three boys and they do use it. But, um, you know, the Peloton, like the Peloton business has really taken off during the pandemic. And everyone talks about the craze about the Peloton. Well, I'm saying the same thing about the Dr. Dish shooting machines. Like if your kids love to play, this is a must get. And it's not that expensive. You can afford it. And you can really have a lot of family fun, entertainment, your kids. You know, for me, I wanted to have the best goal in the neighborhood so that the kids would come to my house and then my kids wouldn't go somewhere else. And that's the way I feel about having a Dr. Dish at my house. Oh, I agree wholeheartedly. I mean, we put out a lot of success stories. We have a lot of families and people reaching out. And obviously we get a, a ton of my kid is shooting better. Their confidence has risen. But we also get some really cool, unique stories of families saying, hey, this really brought us together. It was an opportunity and a space for us to be together, to do some fun things. And yeah, families that are creating, you know, leaderboards, uh, you know, through their app and their, their profiles and, you know, tracking how many shots each of them are taking, how many makes. Uh, we release different, you know, NBA and, and college and, and youth ch uh, challenges all the time that families are absolutely loving. And to your point, we opened up a shooting academy here at uh, in Minneapolis, Minnesota, where we have Bay Shooting Bays. And it's kind of funny, we have a ton of adult men and women that are coming in and, you know, they're playing in a men's league or they're just coming in and like, hey, I, I want to get some shots up. I want to track my success. I want to challenge myself, you know, to get better and have fun with it. And we're starting to see that more and more. Like you said, the, the Peloton model, if I want to be healthy, I want to have fun. I want to build confidence. And then this is a family thing as well. Like we're going to have this the next four, five, six, maybe even 10 years, depending on, you know, the age of the players and, and obviously the conditioning of, of the parents as well. But it brings families together. And we're seeing that on a ton of different levels, which is absolutely awesome for us to see, because that's what we're here for. Jefferson, uh, everybody that donates is eligible to win. Uh, we've mentioned, we mentioned it all the time and we're really um, pushing it out there because I really think it helps with uh, our ability to raise money for Special Olympics. There's no, no question that you have helped us make a difference. Uh, last year's winner was a family with four, or excuse me, with three little boys. And they use the machine all the time on the live stream. You'll see some video of them because we'll have them, uh, you know, talking about winning the machine and how it's changed their lives. You know, three little boys getting to shoot on this machine all the time. It's just amazing. Uh, but not only do you support our efforts for uh, our fundraiser for Special Olympics, but your company has really embraced the whole theme of Special Olympics and you have expanded your support to other places as well. And we take a lot of pride in that because we feel like we're all part of the same family, like, right, you know, Dr. Dish and then, you know, Team Antonelli and the 24 hours of nothing but net. Talk about some of the other service related, uh, community service related items and, and uh, activities that you've gotten involved in. Yeah, for sure. I mean, even here locally in Minneapolis, we have a ton of opportunities that pop up, uh, you know, whether that's, you know, helping out in the inner city, um, you know, donating, donating machines, the boys and girls clubs, like you mentioned, Special Olympics. 
Um, I think it starts top to bottom for us. Our CEO, Doug Campbell, um, really stands by helping people. Uh, you know, obviously this is a business and we're uh, in, the, you know, in the business of selling machines, but, you know, every day we meet and we talk about what can we do to help people in the community. And basketball has always been one thing that can bring everybody together, sports in general. And so for us, the opportunity to be able to give back to, uh, like I mentioned, high schools and different programs, people that uh, are, are struggling with certain issues. I know I'm actually flying out uh uh, tomorrow morning, we're going to go to, to Utah. We have a Make-A-Wish uh, event that we're going to do. So it's kind of on the hush-hush. Uh, people may uh, hear about it through this uh, a little bit before it actually launches on our end. But it's a really cool, unique opportunity for us to give back uh, to people that are looking uh, at Dr. Dish as a resource and um, you know a, a place to build confidence in what they're doing. And so for us, being able to give back, whether that's donation money-wise or our equipment or bringing awareness, is the minimum we can do as a company to do our part to make the, the world a better place. And that's what makes me proud to be a part of Dr. Dish is that when these opportunities present themselves, you know, uh, we don't sit back and say, well, you know, is in our budget. Can we do this? Can we do that? You know, almost all the time, our CEO is, is like, let's rock and roll and do it because that's what we stand for as a company. That's who we are as a people. And once we lose that, then we lose our purpose in what we're doing. Uh, and so, again, you know, shout out to, to Doug. He's just a fantastic human being. His entire family is, to be honest with you. But that's trickled down to every single person within our company, from our warehouse team to our service team to our software and firmware engineers to our marketing and our sales. Everybody believes the same thing. We've built an amazing culture here. So anytime we have an opportunity for food drives, people are in and volunteering their time. I mean, it's just – it's just awesome to see and you want to continue to do it because we built that culture. So um, it's, it's a blessing to be a part of. And, you know, like I mentioned before, this event is absolutely amazing. I absolutely love it. I, I get a little bit nervous when, you know, you're shooting and I'm just hoping for the best, but I always know that it'll turn out the way it should. You know, that anxiety hits me in every workout when I'm getting ready to be honest with you, Jefferson, because we know it's not about you or me or the free throws. It's, it's about Special Olympics. And I really believe that the better I can shoot it and the, the better my performance is, the better the story is. I'm a parent, you know my son Frankie, you know, uh, you know why our, our heart is where it is about doing this because it does impact a lot of people's lives and it can help families like mine. And that's why I'm training so hard to get ready. And I'm telling you, man, there is no way I could do it without you. Uh, that, that is, there's no way. Our partnership means so much to me. And uh, my relationship with you and Doug and Nick and all of your team is, is so important to what we're doing. So um, I can't thank you enough for year three, your support and giving us another machine to give away is just absolutely amazing that some family is going to be able to donate to this fundraiser to help Special Olympics and in return, they're going to get a opportunity to share family time on a Dr. Dish. It's just amazing. Yeah, we definitely appreciate it. And again, obviously, none of this would, would be possible without you, your vision, your idea, and bringing all these people together from different areas, different businesses, and all that good stuff. I mean, shout out to you and your dedication, and your time, and your effort. Again, we're just a, a, a small piece in, in the success of, of this event and what's happened the last few years. And we continue to hope that we can be a part of it and, and keep rock and rolling and changing lives. You are helping us do all of that, Jefferson. Thank you so much. It means so much to me personally. And then obviously the success that we've been able to have, you can share uh, directly in the celebration when we cut down the nets. And one year, I'm going to have you here in my driveway and you're going to cut down the nets with me. I would absolutely love that. Love it. Thank you. All right. Thanks.